Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take apart your Alienware Aurora. I've seen a lot of videos on these. Honestly, I'm not hating on them. Yes, they do teach you how to take them apart and everything like that. But it takes a million years just to get to the point. Like, all I wanted to know, and all people, everybody else wants to know, is how to take them apart correctly, and how to do it quick and easy. They don't want to wait an hour to be able to know. So I'm going to get into this. Some things that you're going to need. Today, I'm just gonna show you guys how to take it apart and things you're gonna to need to clean it. If you wanna clean it and take it apart properly, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself paper towels, Q-tips, or rags. Today, I have a rag. You're gonna need a screwdriver. Uh, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver, so make sure you have that handy. If you plan on removing and replacing your paste on your CPU, you want to make sure to get Thermal paste, I have the Corsair thermal paste. I think they make others, but this is the common brand for Best Buy, Walmart, things like that. And you want to get a can of air, most, most common. I have this spray, but this is mostly because I'm cleaning dust on the outside and fans and stuff. And as long as I just leave it to dry, it's fine. I already took it apart and cleaned it. It's all good, but I'm just showing you guys what you might need. So we're just gonna take these, put them out of the way. Now, what you're gonna wanna do, is I'm gonna show you guys right here. There's a screw right here and there's two tabs. You're gonna wanna hit these to the unlock, these two tabs and the screw right here you're gonna to wanna to take that screw right out of there. Now this model is the 2018 model. Uh, usually from, I think it's 2016 to 2020, I think they're all the same um, as far as my knowledge they are. Now after that, what you wanna do is flip it over onto its side like so. And like I said, that tab, that tab that you guys saw, you wanna Pull that tab, and this should come right off. Lickety split, easy. Just like that, guys. There's no thing that's really hard to take off on this. Everything is simple, and most of it's directed. You can always see right here. I'm gonna flip this on its side. Now that it's on a side, as you can see, you can see the GPU, and you can see the power supply and the storage unit. This is completely all original from the 2018 bought off the market sold. So it has every component in it and everything is all original. Nothing has been changed. Nothing has been swapped. The only thing that is different in it is obviously the paste, the thermal paste. So now what you're going to want to do is do you see these two screws? You're going to want to get into these screws. And you're going to want to take those out. Very common to take these out. Now, necessarily, you don't have to do this. You really don't. But if you want to get to anything, if you want to clean, be able to clean your, um, what am I thinking? You want to clean your hard drive. You want to be able to take this out so you have full access to everything. And you can also clean this down a little bit. Now, you have that accessible. All your wiring and everything like that. Now, you wanna grab your power supply as you have everything open right here. You have the tab off. You wanna grab your power supply by right here. There's a tab here, and you're gonna to wanna to pull on this. You're gonna need two hands for this. So I'm gonna set it down. You're probably not gonna be able to show, see it, but as my hands are placed underneath that tab, you're gonna to wanna to pull back on this, and it pulls right up. Easy, you wanna hold it down and then pull it straight up. Now, don't get too far with yourself. You wanna be able to unplug your GPU before you get too far, because you don't wanna ruin any cables. So you wanna just tuck that right in there and you can lift it the rest of the way up without hurting anything whatsoever. Now, the power supply is out of the way. You can access your CPU your RAM, which today I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how to replace your RAM because I have to do it anyways. So I might as well show it on video. Now this little black piece right here, you want to just get out of there. You don't really need it for anything. You just pull up, it comes right out. 
just like that. Now I have access to my GPU. Now a way to get this GPU out, there's a clip in the back, right in the back of the GPU. You're gonna wanna pull that clip or push it down more like, and then you can access your GPU by pulling it straight out. Just like that. Now this is the GTX 1060. This is the original one that it comes with. We're just gonna set that down right there, out of the way. Now, I can see my whole motherboard just about. Now, because I need to, I'm gonna replace my RAM. So I'm gonna click these two white pins back, just like so. And there's two up top. I'm gonna click them both back carefully, grab each one, set them down. Now the RAM that I'm going to be using see if I can find it. There we go. I have two sticks of Ripsaw or G-Skill rig saws and they are 16 gig for the both of them so 8 gig in each. Now this is what I'm going to be replacing them with. If you guys want to know how to do that. You just slide right in here. Simple as that. Do the same thing with the other one. Make sure you guys color code it. You don't want to keep them together. You don't want to have them right next to each other. You want to make sure that each of them are in different slots. Now, if you have all four of them and they're all the same, yes, you can necessarily put all of them in the same or side by side you could put one here one there and one here and one right there but because i only have two two you want to separate them it is better for performance and it's just better for it overall now this underneath here this is your cpu cooler this is where your thermal paste would go underneath and on top of your cpu if you want to know how to remove that on mine, some people have the liquid cooled one. There should be screws on each side for this model. There's screws on each side. You just want to unscrew that and it'll pop right off. Clean off your, um, your cooler. You want to make sure to get alcohol and you want to make sure you get Q-tips. You want to clean that off and paper towel the rest of it. Now that is how you clean off that. Now, because I have the RAM replaced, everything is opened up. It looks pretty clean in my knowledge, except for the things you can't see. Every fan can be taken off. If you guys wanna know how to take this fan off, there's a clip right here. You just push down and then push forward on that clip and it comes right out, just like so. I don't wanna break anything, there we go. Comes right out. I'm not gonna fully pull it out because I have no reason to because I'm not, I'm not cleaning it. It's already been cleaned as much as I can get it. Now, after everything's cleaned, you want to grab everything that you took apart. So here goes the graphics card. I'm just going to slide the graphics card right in. Oops, back, backwards. My bad. Okay, I'm just going to slide the graphics card right in. Sorry if I'm blocking your way, guys. I'm just trying to put it directly. All right, there we go. Clipped right in. No problems at all. There we go. Now that that's in, that black clip that I was talking about earlier, you wanna grab that, you wanna just slide it right back over, nice and gentle, boom. Now, you wanna pull this right back down, right to its original spot. It'll just clip right in. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to clip it in, anything. Now that piece, you wanna plug it right back in. There we go. Now that it's plugged all back in, you can get your screws and then you dandy screws and set this right back where it was. No problems there. We're just gonna hand tighten for a little second so we can see what we're doing. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Sometimes 
sometimes they take a little bit, but you want to make sure you get them in perfectly straight because you don't want to strip any screws because it'll be a pain for the next time take them out and you might have to replace them. We're just going to screw them in. Make sure they're just a tad bit tight. You don't want them too tight. Never want anything too tight. Once it starts to get to the point where you can't use two fingers to tighten it, that's where you want to stop. Here's the uh, original spare ram. Just want to set that to the side. Now that you have everything taken off, everything's out of the way, you want to grab your piece that we took off in the original. Ooh, we're just going to set that aside for a second and we're going to flip this right back up. Right back up. Like so. And there's these clips right here. You want to line these two up right at the bottom. It should just slide right over. Hold on. Sometimes it takes a little bit. All right. They should just slide right over there. And then all you do, don't apply too much pressure, but once they're all on, push. Make sure it's all sealed tight. And then you can add your black screw right back in there. But before this video ends, I'm gonna show you guys how to take off this panel. It's really not needed to take off this panel right here at all, but if you guys wanna know how, it's, it's the easiest panel to take off. You just pull back, nice and gentle. Make sure it's gentle. You don't wanna break anything. It looks like I'm using quite a bit of force, but I'm not using any bit of force at all. And this should come right out. There's nothing much to this side, but if you wanted to clean it, I just thought I'd show you guys how to take it off so you guys know. Now let's try to see if we can get that in there. There we go. Now it just clips right back in. Easy peasy, lickety split, no problem. So I'm just gonna clean that right off. Fingerprints and everything like that. There we go. And that, guys, is how you clean and take apart your Alienware Aurora. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys want more how-tos, just comment down below. Anything you guys don't know how, I can probably show or tell you guys how to do. Um, I might be doing some performance helping on how to correctly and use up most of your RAM to be able to use it to your best performance. Uh, I will also be making plenty other videos with my small engines that I usually do. But if you guys want more computer builds and more computer updates and how to how to's, just all you gotta do is leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment. Any comment doesn't matter. You can say my video shit doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. Any comment helps. So without further ado, you all have a nice night.